life's too short, so we have to savor every second of it. In tonight's episode of Expat's Kitchen, brought to you by Seafood City Supermarkets, we visit one of the premier Southeast Asian restaurants in the San Francisco Bay Area. I'm here today at the Red Lantern in Redwood City, California, and with me are the brains behind the operation. We have owner and proprietor Jeffrey San Diego, as well as executive chef Danielle Sidar. Thank you very much for having us here today, both of you. Thank, Thank you. you. So, uh, Jeffrey, tell me a little bit about the concept behind the Red Lantern, from the decor to the menu, as well as the small little touches that make it uniquely the Red Lantern. Well, the concept behind Red Lantern is a collection of decor and artifacts from Southeast Asia, okay. which includes Malaysia, Philippines, Vietnam, Thailand, Indonesia, uh -huh. and Singapore. And we noticed that a lot of the uh, the decor is, was actually shipped from Southeast Asia. So this That's is right. authentic. This is not uh, replicas. <laughs> yes, the, these are authentic. Just like this table, which uh -huh. is uh, made of Molave, which is indigenous to Philippines. Uh -huh. um, it is found in a riverbed. I think it's about 100 years old, which wow. is petrified. And tell me a little bit about the menu. Uh, for somebody who's never been to Red Lantern, what can a first-timer expect? Uh, I would like to, uh, for uh, the first-timer uh, that come to Red Lantern, I would like to, uh, to educate them with the, the palate, the flavor of uh -huh. um, Southeast Asia cuisine, such as Indonesia, Malaysian, Philippines, Burma, and other countries in that region. What, what's, um, what is some of the spices that they can expect? For uh, the spices that I can expect is uh, you can have uh, uh, like candle nut, uh, clove uh -huh. nut, uh, kaffir lime leaf, lemongrass, Lem uh -huh. and uh, blachan. Okay. And uh, or the uh, patis. But yes, the so, fish sauce, uh, very nice. Yes, and uh, it's it's just like it's a variety of little bit of everything. And in Red Lantern, it's a uh, family style. So very that, nice. So um, every get everybody gets to taste a little bit of everything. Correct. And now, Chef Daniel shows us a step-by-step -step on how to create Red Lantern's vegetable lupiao. Garlic. Well, it smells good already. Thank you. A little bit of palangang. Palangang. And then uh, ginger. Okay. And then we have uh, some shallots. Okay. Just uh, saute it for like, um, like two minutes. Uh -huh. After you get like uh, the aroma out a bit, uh -huh. and the remaining ingredient in all the vegetables, carrots. Wow, that smells really good. So for the details of the recipe, we'll have it on the filipinasmag.com website or the May issue of Filipinas magazine. Thank you so much, Daniel. Appreciate Thank it.